I just need to say it. Amphibia is my favorite story-driven cartoon running at the moment. Season 2 has just knocked it out the park week after week. I just can't get enough. This upcoming week, we're getting a breather before the big story episode, Marcy at the Gates. And this is a very special breather, as the first segment will feature what seems to be an on-the-nose guest appearance and reference to Kermit the Frog, but even more hyped up by Disney themselves. The second segment will be a homage to the wonderful game changer known as Gravity Falls. With the episode airing this week, Disney has provided a promo that gives insight to some interesting details. Though not our first story even second look at the episode due to press releases, other promos, and the season 2B trailer, I definitely think it's the most exciting one. So, let's break down those details that you may have missed when watching this promo, as you were too busy fainting from hearing that sweet, cherished stand voice in 2020. Of course, spoiler warning, if you are not caught up with Amphibia or you don't want to know anything about this Gravity Falls crossover, please click off now. With all that said, let's dive in. So, of course, this upcoming Gravity Falls homage crossover is titled Wax Museum, where the family visits a mysterious roadside oddities museum where every treasure comes with a price. This mysterious museum looks and feels quite a bit like the Mystery Shack on Gravity Falls. Hirsch, who voiced Uncle Stan on the show, will guest star as the creator, a Stan-like character who owns the Curiosity Hut and features a frog custodian named Frog Seuss, based of course on Seuss from Gravity Falls, whom Hirsch also voiced. Trucking along into the promo, Ants Brick, Polly, and Hop Hop arrive in Stony Gulch, a small village that, as advertised by its giant red banner, welcomes travelers. Similar to the many road signs stand erected near the Mystery Shack, welcoming tourists. Now, Stony Gulch is an actual valley located in Shasta County, California, and apparently a great western mine. I love the shop shop, yep, another shop gag. It adds onto how amphibious Stony Gulch capitalizes on travelers, and how in an amphibian rendition of Stan would thrive in this village. The Curiosity Hut, which can be spotted in the distance of the Season 2 credits, is the only business that's decorated with surrounding pine trees that appear to be plotted? A not-so-subtle nod to the forest-dominated landscape of Gravity Falls. It's shaped like the Mystery Shack, albeit without the gift shop. The original triangle-shaped window sporting a depiction of Bill Cipher is substituted with a larger, round, stained-glass Cipher-esque eye. And there appears to be a plethora of cute mascots with antennas? Alright. Unlike the makeshift fictional creatures that stand stitched together for the Mystery Shack, the Curiosity Hut features golden replicas of the various creatures that exist within Amphibia. Although, it wouldn't surprise me if these weren't replicated statues, but the real deals. Encased in gold, or as the episode title implies, wax. Which, the wax in itself is a nod to the third episode of Gravity Falls, and one of the more memorable episodes from Season 1, Headhunters. Where talking wax statues came to life, and wanted Stan's head for his mistreatment towards them. However, some of these statues serve as further easter eggs, such as the creature mounted on top, above the hallway, being Stan's mask from the very first episode, Tourist Trap, and of course the frog gnomes, or frones. The frog equivalent of the iconic gnome from Gravity Falls that appeared in numerous episodes. Taurus Trapped, Gideon Rises, The Last Mablecorn, Smebulok himself is a recurring character. They couldn't have left out the gnomes. And of course, the Bill Cipher carpet made the cut. Hashtag the lives. As previously speculated, Frog Stan, aka the creator, was standing in place in the Season 2A trailer, blending in with the rest of the statues, only to spring to life when Polly gets close to contact, leading to classic simultaneous screaming. Wow, it really is like the show never left. The creator remarks that he has many names, a nod to Stan's various identities throughout the years, tied to various business schemes, as revealed in Not What He Seems and A Tale of Two Sands. The creator appears to be the antagonist of this episode, which I believe demonstrates how we appreciate Groko Stan from the perspective Gravity Falls provides. But from the perspective of a normal, run-of-the-mill tourist? This guy is horrifying! While we have some classic Groko Stan antics like smoke bombs, the creator also appears to be attacking Sprig and Hot 
pop off. While in the background and can be spotted, captured in a tube that's filling with a mysterious brownish substance. I believe this is the process of turning a specimen into a gold statue, or a wax statue. The curator setting his sights on Anne due to her simply being a human, likely viewed as super valuable or maybe just super freaky. Ah, human. The townsfolk did think Anne was a monster originally, so kinda checks out. To the curator, Anne is definitely someone worth having in his collection. Hell, the fact he has the title of curator is probably because, hey, he curates through different creatures and guests, deciding which ones are worthy of being a Curiosity Hut attraction. I believe Polly holding a torch while staring in horror is likely tied to the revelation of the curator's antagonistic status. Hop Hop remarking that the Curiosity Hut is freaking them out and that they're going to wait outside could correlate to how Anne winds up captive, or before they can leave, the curator forces them to stay within the premises. A literal tourist trap! I also assume Sprig and Hop Hop backing into a wall is a result of the curator's intimidation factor. You can kinda see a shadow over them. Anne remarking, yep, this all tracks, while within the tube, is like likely her response to the creator's twist reveal as a villain, and probably monologuing about his evil plan, which aligns with the rest of his insane personality. Hence, it tracks. We have the curator running right here, and I can imagine him running throughout the hut is likely during the climax when he's on the ropes, losing his grip on the situation, or maybe frog suits will portray him and save the day, which in itself could serve as a small parallel to not what he seems. When Seuss attacks Stan in an attempt to protect Dipper and Mabel, this promo concludes with Frog Seuss licking his arm towards the elbow, potentially referencing the lick that elbow gag from Not What He Seems. The curator's expression makes me think that Frog Seuss interrupted his big, ominous speech that antagonists usually give when monologuing to themselves. And in the background of the scene, there's tons of Gravity Falls Easter eggs, such as the diving helmet and crystals. And in general, this promo seems to mirror one of the early Gravity Falls promos from when the series first began on Disney Channel. Namely, the narrator's recycled line of, something weird is going on in this town. Eh, that wasn't totally correct, paraphrasing. Just an extra neat little detail. And before we close out, in case you missed it the first time, I just want to throw on this quote from Matt Brawley. I have always wanted to create a Gravity Falls tribute in Amphibia. I just didn't know when or how. The two shows share so much DNA that it seemed like a missed opportunity to not have the worlds interact in some fashion. So when Amphibia writer Janava Hudek pitched an episode where the planters would stop at a creepy wax museum during the road trip, I knew this was our golden opportunity. Janava herself was a huge Gravity Falls fan and leapt at the chance to work with its iconic characters. The decision was made early to feature alternate universe versions of Grunkle Stan and Seuss as frogs. This would be the easiest way to pay homage without stepping on anyone's toes continuity-wise. Brawley sent the script to Hirsch to get his blessings and to see if he'd voice the creator and frog Seuss. Not only did he end up voicing the characters, but he even improvised a number of lines in the booth, giving the characters that classic Gravity Falls off-the-cuff flair. It's no surprise that the Amphibia episode Wack Museum is one of my favorite episodes of the season, and that the curator and Frog Seuss are standout characters. Working on this episode felt like coming home in a lot of ways. But as always, these are just our thoughts, and we want to hear yours. What do you think? Are you excited for this crossover? Any predictions? Any other Easter eggs or references you want to see? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at OstrichVox. We're also on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I I hope you have an awesome day. Austric Vox, signing out.